Welcome to Awesome Go. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn how to implement a stack with push, pop, pick, and is empty method using our linked list in Python. So first we are going to add a node class. And define its uh, init method. Pass in uh, self reference and uh, data. And next uh, is set to none. Then we are going to set data to the incoming data. And self next to next node. And now we are going to define a stack class. This one will be class stack. We'll take object. And this will be our init method for our stack. Top will be set to none. And this will be self top set to top and now we are going to define the push method the self data In our uh, push method, we are going to create new node with the value and going to set nodes next to top and set top to node. So right here, this will be self top set to new node. Passing data and self top and now we are going to add a pop method in our uh, pop method we are going to check if stack is empty then we are going to return none else I'm going to save tops value set top to tops next and we don't save that one. This will be our pop pass in self and if self top is none we are going to return none. Data is set to self top data. And self top set to self tops next. And then just uh, return save value, the data. The 
this would be self top data and on the next line this will be self top set to self top dot next and return data now we are going to add peak method In uh, peak method, we are going to check if stack is empty, uh, then we are going to return none, else return a tops uh, value. Over here, this will be return self dot top dot data if self top is not none else return none and now we are going to add is empty so this will be is empty In is empty method, we are going to check if peak has a value, return false, else return true. So this will be return self peak is none. need to remove this extra one from here this is none now we can test our stack by creating our stack object so this would be over here stack stack object and we are going to add a few elements to our stack so we are going to call the push method and pass in the value stack dot push in one stack dot push two and stack dot push three Now we are going to pop the stack and we should get the value 3. So I'm just going to pass in to the print function stack.pop method call. And we can run our script and check the output. we get the value 3 now I'm going to pop it again so we are going to get the value 2 back let's run it again and we get the value 2 back after 3 and now I'm going to uh, use a, we are going to use peak method. So 
will just copy and paste this one and change it to nah peep matter peak and right again so we can see the value one this way let's pop this value also so we will get the empty stack after that so I'm just gonna paste the pop and just run it again and we get the value one and now our stack should be empty so we are going to call is empty print stack dot is empty All right again now we get that true value because the stack is empty to keep on learning please subscribe to my channel at same code like my video keep supporting me and thank you for watching